I've been deeply affected um, by the journey of, uh, of the family that has uh, a sibling and a child with diabetes. My brother was in his, in his 20s. We, we were skiing in, in Colorado and um, his uh, fiance rang me and said, look, um, you got to come and help Chris. I was just crashing out on the couch, being the, being the ski bum, and I ran in and he had rolled on his stomach and his face was in the pillow and he'd gone into a hypo and he was shaking. And luckily, you know, we, we had these little juice packs and uh, we had it ready and we just poured sugar and juice and, and we actually were shoving it in, into his mouth. His eyes were rolling back in his head and I, I've just been doing this all my life. I was chatting to my mum about it and she said, you know, other families don't realise when, when, when you're deeply affected by a sibling, have a child with, di with diabetes, yeah, it's the birthday parties when they can't have the chocolate cake and they can't have certain things. So if they do, it's got to be, mon be monitored. My mother and father I, I couldn't, they, they didn't have the heart to call, but my, my brother called me and said, um, Chris is dead, and I was alone at the time in my little apartment in Hollywood, and I, I kind of just collapsed on, on the floor and, and went, oh my God, you know? It's like all these things we, we don't think about in the journey when I was on Dancing with the Stars, the first season, and Celebrity Survivor, and a couple of other shows, I, I had the opportunity to donate thousands of dollars to diabetes and help uh, grow awareness. So I could give something back to my brother that died, that didn't wake up in the morning. My story is, if we had known that there was an alarm system or some kind of glucose reading sensor or some system that could send a signal to me, to my family, to mum and dad. Um, he died in an apartment 20 feet next door to mum and dad's and um, he, he, wasn't, he wasn't overseas wasn't after a sporting match. He just didn't wake up. And if we just had an alarm system or something that could have sent a signal, uh, I think I know that he would still be alive today. I'm very honored to be a part of the uh, or, or, organization and the Danny Foundation.